relationship with a big girl is different. Okay, let me tell you. Speaking as the big girl in question in my relationship, one thing my husband and I were talking about is the fact that dudes will love to press up on your girl, look at your girl if she's plus size, basically are her with his damn eyes, or beat you up with his fucking eyeballs like a munch. You thought I was feeling you? Absolutely not. But God forbid you turn around and act like you saw it. Or if your man says, yo, what's good? Why are you looking at my woman? All of a sudden- That's really, that's a really bad take. Just because somebody looks at you doesn't mean they have- Okay, maybe, all right. There are some scenarios where somebody does something and it looks like they may be like, you know, goggling you or whatever the word is. Like, I get it. Is it really anything to ask anybody about, dude? Why would you ever do that? Like, you don't know somebody's intention. They could just be blind, you know? You ever see those videos of the guy, like, licking ice cream? And then he's, like, looking at you while he's licking the ice cream. And then he gets up with a fucking walking stick and walks away. It's like that. How do you know? You don't know. You're just gonna automatically assume that this guy is, like, sexually... <laughs> he's, he's, he's assaulting you with his eyes is crazy. And by the way, I don't think it's a flex to have a boyfriend... That is going to do something about that. Like, what What do you want this guy to do exactly? Like, your boyfriend's in that scenario. Do you want him to just, like, go over and, and talk shit to the guy? Because he looked at you for a little bit too long? Or maybe he looked at you with a little bit weird eyes or something like that? By the way, I don't think this has anything to do with you being fat. It's, like, a really, really... <laughs> it's a really disgusting take. So, like, if your boyfriend walks up to this guy, what do you think is going to happen? Like, what if that guy has, like, a, a gun or a weapon or something like that? I just don't know... It's like these people don't realize that there are consequences to their actions. Like, I get it. Looking at somebody could be deemed as disrespectful. But is it really worth, like, getting up and talking to somebody over? And then then what happens afterwards? Like, maybe the guy, like, he, he walks away. It's like, oh, yeah, my bad, bro. Or he pulls out a gun and he shoots your boyfriend. Like, uh, you know, obviously, God forbid. But you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. I don't even understand that point. You think a guy is looking at you? Because he wants to, what, impregnate you? He thinks you look breedable? Like, what, what are you talking about? Why would this ever be something that you even have a problem with? I go outside, and there are always people looking. Yeah, I have a mustache, and that's okay. It's all right. And even when I'm out, look, I'm not even one of these people that are going to be saying, like, oh, women don't have to deal with this stuff. I've been outside with women before. I understand that women get a lot of looks. Women get a lot of reproaches. Women are just, like, automatically going to be approached by, like, many, many different guys throughout the day. I get it. I do. I understand it. But is it worth it to approach a dude and, and then bring more heat to the fire? Is that, is you know, bring more fuel to the fire? Probably not. Probably not, dude. Probably not, and you don't even know exactly if this guy's like weird, but uh, anyway, he could just be looking at you weird. Sudden, ain't nobody want your fat bitch, ain't nobody want her. Ain't yeah, because he probably didn't, bro. That's uh, yeah, bro. You know what? That's probably <laughs> that's probably exactly what I would say too, bro. If you were just like casually looking and you saw somebody and then you looked away and then somebody's boyfriend approached you, it was like, hey dog, why are you looking at my girl for? I'd be like, what? Dude? <laughs> Who the fuck are you, man? What are you talking about? I can look wherever I want, first of all, dude. That's real cringy that you would even show up. And the fact that you're sitting here and vouching for your boyfriend doing that, that's not a good thing, okay? I'm gonna die on this hill. It's not a flex to be a dude and start conflict because you can. That's not good, okay? Be an adult. You're not, you're not, I don't know, I don't understand people don't know this, but you can just like lose your life at any point in time. Like things could happen, things can transpire, and then suddenly you're missing an arm or suddenly you're dead. It's, it's, you know what I'm talking about? Even if it was minuscule, what are you doing? You're just wasting your time having an argument with somebody. It's just not important, okay? There are plenty of other things that I would rather do. And you know what? If you're one of these people too, because I've been in relationships before where girls have said things like, oh, you're going to let that guy say that to me right i don't know like maybe we're walking down the street and guys said damn shawty got ass shawty got ass whatever right and the girl go are you gonna like let him say that to me yes a hundred percent why would i so like you want me to what go up to that guy have an argument with him what if i have a gun on me and what if he has a gun on him are we just gonna both die because somebody said something mean to you no that's ridiculous okay be an adult people say things to you that's all right that's okay. You know, we can have discourse online. We can have discourse in a, in a, in a place that we know is going to be safe. Not on the street with a guy that I don't know. That, that looks like he hasn't taken a shower in nine days. And that's not even wearing the same color shoes. Like, yes, I'm not going to have a conversation with that guy. Obvious fucking Lee. It's not a test of my manhood to approach a dude that said something kind of offensive to you. Okay? And by the way, it's not even manly to do that in general. Okay? Times have changed. All right, dude, it's not a manly trait to just beat people up in the street. And if you think it is, you're wrong. I, I hate to tell you this shit, bro. I, I, no, no.
Just, 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 just no, okay? Good, why are you looking at my woman all of a sudden? Ain't nobody want your fat bitch. Ain't nobody want her. Ain't nobody want her because the embarrassment of getting caught out there. Can you, it, 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 the embarrassment of being caught is not, is nothing in comparison to the embarrassment of being somebody, approaching somebody else and complaining that they looked at your girlfriend. <laughs> Like, what are you talking about? I don't care that you were looking at my girlfriend. Most of the time, okay, tell me if I'm wrong here. Most dudes are dating women that are better looking than them. It's very rare to find a prettier guy than the girl. That's extraordinarily rare. Most dudes don't even care about themselves. Most dudes I know have spent like nine years of their life not even washing their buttholes because they thought it was gay to have a butthole. And you see that and dudes like taking a year plus to exhaust the stick of deodorant and you're thinking that this guy's gonna be harder than you. Most dudes are gonna be uglier than the woman. So just by default, women are automatically gonna be sexualized in society. It's not a good thing, I'm not saying it is, but that's usually what's happening. I've been out with women before, I see the way that men look at them and all this other stuff, I get it, okay? It is not a good thing, okay? to approach people that are doing that because it's gonna happen all the time. It's gonna happen all the time. What do you think you're gonna do? You like be her fucking Bruce Wayne, put on your cowl and hood, and you're gonna go over there and fight these guys in the honor of somebody looking at her? No, dude, that's terrible. That's gross, okay? And if you're a woman in that scenario too, no, you should not be encouraging your boyfriend or girlfriend or whoever to approach that person. That's not good. No, never do that, okay? Move along with your business. It's not that important. People live many, many, people are doing many, many things in their life, okay? This guy being crazy or this guy doing something or whoever it may be, just move on. It's not important, okay? It's not important. And then in the scenario of like, what if I have something on me? You know what I'm talking about? I'm not gonna fight fair. I'm not, okay? I weigh 150 pounds. If that guy weighs 200 pounds, what do you think I'm gonna do? You think I'm gonna fist fight that guy? No, no. So even in this scenario, even if I win, I lose because I'm going to jail or something happens, you know? Ain't nobody want her. Ain't nobody want her because the embarrassment of getting caught out there eating up me with his eyes. Dude, it's, bro, get, this woman's on some different shit, dude. No, eating you up with his eyes is crazy, okay? Porn exists, all right, dude. Anybody can buy feet pictures off women on the internet for $5.99. You're not, you're not that important, dude. I don't, I don't look, dude. Okay. You, somebody might find you attractive out in public, but like, so what? Like, so what, dude? They're looking at you. It is what it is. It's just too much for his little emasculated, no male energy. No, it, you, you're over here saying that he got no male energy. Okay, look, I don't even know who in this particular scenario who the guy is that's looking at her, whatever. But you're literally telling me you're putting your dude on a pedestal in the sense of like, it's a good thing that he approached the guy that was looking at you. No. It's not a good thing, and it's not a masculine thing at all either. That's in, you know, if you if we're being honest here for a second, if we're being completely honest for a second here, I think it's not masculine in any way for a dude to approach another guy in verbal confrontation, and potentially that verbal confrontation, but verbal confrontation escalates. So no, I don't think it's a good thing at all. I don't think it's a masculine trait at all. And you sitting there saying that he is less masculine because he looked at you. I would love to know the context of that. You know how many times I've looked at people? A lot. Yeah, a lot. I'm looking at you right now. I I is that not masculine? I don't understand. I have no idea why this is even your point here. Are you really prepared to die in this hill of guys looking at women, therefore they're not masculine, but your boyfriend approaching other people and having problems with that is somehow masculine? It's not a masculine trait. No, it's not. If anything, if you want to have this argument, it's a very feminine trait. How do, how do you feel now? How do you feel now? How do you feel now? It's not good, okay? And I'm not even these people. You can totally have masculine and feminine traits. It's very good for every, both sexes to have masculine and feminine traits, especially in modern society where it calls for both of those things. It's not the 1950s anymore where you solely as a man need to have 100% masculine traits. No, we live in the modern era where you need feminine traits along with the masculine traits, men and women. So. I'm not even arguing that it's a bad thing to have feminine traits. I'm, she's obviously looking at it as a bad thing. She is, which is crazy because she's a woman. I don't understand why so many women shit on feminine traits as if it's not a good thing. Like, I, you, you know what I'm talking about? Like, oh, you're acting like a woman or, oh, you know, you, you're acting feminine. Okay. All right. That's uh, what am I, you know, like, I, I understand what you're saying, but like, you do realize you're shitting on yourself, right? When you say that, like, if you say I'm, I'm acting like a woman and the context behind that is that you think because I'm acting like a woman, therefore that's bad. It's not inherently bad. Okay. That just means that I have a little bit more feminine traits. I don't know, man. No, no, it's not good. Okay. Don't do this shit. Don't, don't take this woman's advice. Okay. If somebody's looking at you or your girlfriend, whoever, and you think it's an appropriate situation to walk up to that person and have an argument, do not do that. Do not walk. Keep walking. Keep, keep doing what you got to do. It's not important. 
is not important. How many other things you got going on in your life that are way better than that? Many things, right? Many things, many things, not this. For his little emasculated, no male energy, no BD. Be because he looked at somebody? Because he looked at you is like he has, he's, okay. E. No BDE, big dick energy. <laughs> he's got no big, he's got no big dick energy because he looked at you. Damn, bro, that's tough. Damn, bro, that's crazy, bro. We're going really hard on this guy. Emasculated, no male energy, no BDE self to handle. He just can't take it. So if you want to be with a big girl, just know it takes a certain type of man. Okay, you have to pick your battles. You have to know that there's gonna be dudes out there who are gonna be staring your girl up and down. Dude, look, this is this is this is a, this is a ridiculous thing to say. Absolutely, do not. This is this is the worst advice I've ever heard in my life. If you date anybody, everybody knows this. Okay, from the age of like. From the age of like 12, once a woman hits like puberty or whatever, and she starts turning into a woman, right? Having that like natural evolution, whatever, puberty, uh, women have never not had options. Like it's always been a thing. They can go outside and have a million dudes uh, that want to have sex with them instantly, right? And it's terrible, but it is what it is. So being a dude, you automatically have to assume that most guys want to have sex with your girlfriend. It's all right. It's okay. It's obviously like something you're just going to have to deal with, right? But I feel like a lot of dudes don't understand default, like unless you have these experiences, because it took me a really long time to even understand how many times women were being approached, how many times guys were just saying random shit to them, how many times dudes, dudes were hitting up their girl. Like I've, I didn't know. Okay, and a lot of guys don't know this because they're living the male experience where most dudes don't even get a DM from a woman in like a year unless they go out of their way and try to find it. Unless it's like their mom or something like that. Most dudes don't even get compliments, right? So most dudes are looking at it within their framework. They're not seeing it from the woman's perspective, right? And it's crazy because I've been on the phone with women and they call me up like, hey, I, gotta, I just got to call you because there's this guy, he's following me. And you go, what do you mean he's following you? And then he, she, uh, like, obviously you're thinking like, what do you mean follow? Like she, he can't be following. He's probably just like on the same path. And they're like, no, he's like literally right next to me in his Escalade with him and his friends. And they're just like driving at like three, three miles per hour to match my walk speed and looking at me. And you go, are you serious? And you go, they you go, yes. And then that's actually happening. And you go like, that's, that sounds so ridiculously unbelievable, but it's true. And then you also see in scenarios where women are just shopping, guys approach them, guys that have no business talking to these women, guys that are just saying shit, and it happens a lot. And you don't think that it does happen, but it does happen. Or guys will just be catcalling, which catcalling nowadays is is like, it's, it's few and far between, right? You don't see it as much. Um, and like the stuff that you do here is not as bad as I feel like what it used to be, right? I remember one time I was out with a girl, I heard a guy say like, oh yeah, I wanna, damn girl, you look so bad. I wanna fuck, I wanna suck the last dick that fucked you, that type shit. And um, it's obviously, I mean, that one's a little bit funny, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I'm not saying it doesn't transpire, but a lot of dudes don't realize this. So it's obviously something if you're going to date a woman, you probably have to deal with that, but you also have to be a much, you have to be an adult in the situation and understand that these are just words being exchanged and it's better to walk away and live another day than it is to start a confrontation and take that like, that gamble that you may or may not walk out of that situation. I'm just not going to do it. I'm just not, I'm not going to do it, dude. I'm not going to put myself in a scenario where that's something that's going to transpire. Just not. And you know what? You can think I'm a pussy for that. You can. I don't care what anybody says about that shit. I'm very adamant on this. I'm not, I'm, this is a hill I'm prepared to die on. If something did happen out in public, dude, I'm walking away. I'm walking away, dude. First of all, you don't know what I got on me and <laughs> you don't, I don't know what you got on you, but I know what I got on me. They're going to be trying to steal you like Mrs. Steal Your Girl in the background. Dude, it's a guy looking at you. Okay, I, what are you talking about right now? You just told me this guy had big, this guy had small dick energy and he was a, 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 an emasculated man all because he was looking at you? He wanted to steal you because he was looking at you? What was the context? I'm going to need to really know the context here, dude. Please, please, please. And if you go up and down, they're going to be trying to steal you like Mrs. Steal Your Girl. In you're the not that important, dude. I'm going to keep it a buck, okay? Like, you're not that important. Background, but then if you say anything about it, oh, it's a problem. Suddenly, because how do you know this guy's even doing that? Like, bro, it's just like the problem of like, you just don't know. You just don't know. And sometimes it could be very obvious where a guy's just looking at you Maybe, maybe, but like how many times has that happened? How many times is that going down? Probably not many times. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm gonna need to the context. I'm gonna need to the context, dude. Now they don't know. They're blind. It's bird box in here now. 
How many times as a big girl have you called a dude out for hitting on you or being creepy or whatever, and then it's, oh, nobody wants your fat ass. That That's true. I've heard this one is true. I've, I've seen this actually a few times where a guy talked to a girl and the girl say, oh, I'm just not interested. And he goes, you're, you're, you're a motherfucking lesbian. You're a lesbian. That's why. That's why you don't want me. It's not because, it's not because you don't like me. It's because you're a lesbian. Like there's a lot of, it's an incel response. That's what it really, that's what it really is. So this does happen, but to 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 try to like bridge that with what you just said is crazy. There's no comparison there. A guy looking at you compared to a guy hitting on you and then you getting rejected and then after getting rejected then says like, "Oh, you're a bitch or you're nothing or you're ugly anyway." <laughs> like that yeah. Like that that's fine, but the the bridge is not there. Da, da, da. Same thing can happen even when you're in a relationship cuz dudes will feel like they have the right to look at your girl, be disrespectful, but then if you call it out, it's a problem. Bro, you can't say look at your girl and be disrespectful. It, it it's got to be either or because like dude, no, it's no, dude. It can't if I'm looking at you, it just I I would really love to know what you mean by looking at you, bro, because like can I not look at you now? Do does it really have to be like like this, like I can't look at you for like more than a second. Otherwise, your boyfriend's gonna come over and have exchange words with me. Is that what's gonna happen? Okay. Now they want to fight you. Because duh, duh. Yeah, it, bro. This is what I'm saying. If you're if you're talking to a dude, he just looked at you and he starts to be like, oh, let's fight. You fucked with the wrong one. That guy's not no, bro. See, if you just didn't say anything at all, you wouldn't have to deal with that. Now your boyfriend has to fight for his life. <laughs> Look at your girl, be disrespectful. But then if you call it out, it's a problem. Now they want to fight you because you embarrass them. So just know it's a different ball game. And I feel like we need to talk about this more. Thank you. You ever see that that one scene in that one movie with Adam Sandler and Jack Nicholson? That's right. I To tell you the truth, I kind of, I lied to him a little, right? That, that one movie, Anger Management. And Adam Sandler was on the plane, right? And he asked the woman for some headphones so he could watch the movie that was in front of him, right? And the woman was like, oh, yeah, sure. And then he, she came back and whatever. There was no headphones. He was like, oh, I asked for the headphones. And then he kept elevating. She was like, sir, you need to calm down. He's like, yeah, I am calm. I'm totally calm. And they kept gaslighting him into getting louder and louder and louder and louder. That's what this is. Like if you approach somebody and they didn't do what you're saying that they did and they're going, yeah, no, I didn't do that. And they're going, no, you did do that. Like, nah, I've. Nah, I would never do that. Like, that's, that's kind of weird. Like, I don't even know, what are you talking about? Who are you, first of all? <laughs> you know, it's like that. Like, shit gets, a, you, you elevate the situation consistently. It's just going to get bad. Don't do that. Don't, don't, never, never do that shit, bro. If somebody says something to you in the street and you don't like it, it's fine. Just keep going about your business. Literally, the other day, I was, I was walking down the side, down the side of the road, right? There was a woman, I was in the crosswalk and she drove up to the crosswalk and honked at me. And I was just like, well, what, 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 you know, like how, what are you honking at me? I'm in the crosswalk and she was like driving down the street and turning, but I was already in the crosswalk. And then I stopped. I was like, what's wrong? And then I was like, roll down the window. What's going on? And she was like, I honked at you. And I was like, yeah, I know you fucking honked at me. I was like, why? And she was like, you were in the crosswalk. And I was like, okay, okay. Enjoy your day. Bye. I just walked off. Cause there's no point. I don't understand. I don't even understand what the fuck her point was. Like I genuinely wanted to know. How the fuck you gonna honk at me at that particular scenario? Because, like, I was flabbergasted, but it wasn't worth it. It really wasn't worth it. it I don't know. This woman might have been on some different shit. Dating when you're fat should honestly entitle you to financial compensation. And this applies to dating men and women because as someone who has dated both but now only dates girls, it's... Financial compensation for dating? In what way? Like, you think the government should sponsor it? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever, bro. Still a freaking problem. What I noticed is I was just so insecure when I was only dating men. And I think I was allowing the insecurity to just run my whole dating life. Whereas now, I feel much more comfortable dating girls. And I'm not leading with insecurity. Do not Why would you feel insecure when dating dudes? I'm Okay, I kind of, in the physical sense, a lot of women have a lot of priorities to, to I know a lot of girls that sit there and they they spend a lot of time making themselves beautiful and things such and so forth and dudes just kind of show up default I get that maybe you feel insecure because maybe you're not the best looking that you could possibly look or maybe you don't know if you're going to appeal to this particular guy I don't know like these these are the things that being a dude I don't have these types of things be put on me right when I show up to a date, there's almost nothing that I have to do besides show up. And then maybe like, depending on the date, pay for whatever's there. That's really it. For women, I guess it's way more, 
I don't know. But somebody let me know. Please. I am very ignorant on this topic. Me being a non-egg sac person, I don't have an egg sac. I have a very long phallus, so I don't know. Um, it's also thick, too. Very thick. Now, I feel much more comfortable dating girls, and I'm not leading with insecurity. Do not get me wrong. As a plus-size person, dating women... It might just be like... Because I know when I was younger, I was very insecure about dating because I didn't actually know what I'm, I didn't know what my value was. Because when you, when you first start getting into the dating market, FYI, I didn't date anybody in high school. I didn't date anybody in my early, like my late teen years, nothing. And, but like when I hit my twenties, I started dating, right? But you don't know what your value is until you start dating because then you can start check marking shit. Like you did this. I don't like that. I don't like this. I don't like this. Right. Then you can start realizing where you are and what you can acquire. Right. I know that when I was first started dating, I was musty. I was greasy. I was busted. I didn't look good at all. You can even look at some of the pictures. I've had literal people look at me when I was like in my 20s, like 21. And they would literally say, um, it's one of two things. It was either that I was so greasy that you could take my hair and just like, you know, it was like the, the grease would just like slide down off your wrist or something like that. And people used to think that I was like very young. I feel like for me, a lot of people think that I'm like five years younger than I usually am whenever you people take, whenever you see pictures of me. But I've seen this a lot. Like when I, when we do streams and stuff, I show people uh, myself when I was younger. I see people going all the time, like, "Oh, you're 14 here, right?" No, I was 19 there. No, I was 19. So um, it, I don't know. I don't know exactly how it works, but I looked very ugly, very depressing. I was just disgusting looking from head to toe. Probably wasn't worth a lot either, which makes sense. But I know that because of that, I didn't wait, and I thought that I could just, I should just get, take whatever I, whatever I should get. And then because of that, I lost my virginity to somebody I probably should not have. And that's okay because you learn from your mistakes and you realize that now as you become older and you become a little bit wiser, which is a good thing, by the way, you should not be the same person that you were when you were 21 that you are when you're 30, 35, 40, because now you have, you've gained knowledge, you have learned more about the world, you have more real world experience and such things and such forth. So when you see these things, right? When I see people go like, I'm insecure, I can relate to it in the sense of like being younger. Cause like nowadays, if I, I asked a girl on a date, I don't really care. Like in the sense of like, I know what I am. I know how I present to the world. I know what I bring to the table. So I'm secure within myself. Obviously I'm still trying to impress the girl or whatever, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not like overthinking it. I'm not like putting myself in this like, oh, I wonder like, is this gonna work? Does she like me? You know, am, am, am I saying the wrong thing? Am I doing this? Nah, it's like, whatever. Like, this is just a person. I'm just a person and we're getting to know each other. That's all it is. But when you're younger, these experiences are like very, very passionate experiences that people put a lot of time and effort in like 3D chesting it in their head. You don't need to do that. You could just take your time, feel somebody out, not like that, and uh, see what they bring to the table, see what they can see, what you bring to the table and work based off those things. Still does come with insecurities because naturally you sort of compare your body to the girls you're dating. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, really? Maybe... I mean, there's not like a direct comparison with men and women, right? I guess like, damn, I I, I mean, I can kind of see that. Like if you're a girl and you're dating a girl, I don't know. Isn't that, that's kind of, wait, hold on. So like, what are you comparing? Like her boobs, your boobs, her butt, your butt? Like how does this, what are you talking about exactly? Don't even get me started on the fat phobia amongst lesbians that's a story for another day i've heard a lot of that too by the way i've heard a lot of lesbians say that it's very fat phobic in the le lesbian community if you're a lesbian uh, you have some experience in that i would very much enjoy leave it down in the comment section i do read the comments all that to say regardless of the gender or whoever you're dating it all starts with your own confidence okay if you're not confident in yourself and your body and you haven't done that work to accept yourself you can't find that in somebody else. You never. True. This usually takes a little bit of time, though. It's it is basically like understanding how the world perceives you, understanding your experiences, understanding what you want. These things usually you're not going to get when you're 21, 22, 22, 24. Usually you get these things later on. And sometimes it takes a little bit longer for some people because some people don't date until they're in their mid mid 20s or even late 20s and i've even seen some people say i have never dated in my life and they're like 35 36 37 38 which is really sad because these people are ex trying to go through like the the first phases of trying to find somebody and they're just finding terrible disgusting people because they don't know like what to look for and what not to look for so it's it's like difficult for these people but once you start dating and i mean dating as in like actually dating not having sex um, you realize what you do and do not want in somebody and how people perceive you. So if you can, if you can like go through that time period 
and uh, you know you will have to pick up a little bit of scars on the way there. It's all right because you're building up. You're building the foundation of how the people see you, what you want, and all this other stuff. Usually that comes with age. Oh well. Big girl. We're getting ready because we're going on a date. Oh, Today's with my boyfriend of three years, and I know you guys are going to be so shocked that somebody as fat and big as me would have a beautiful boyfriend. Nope, not surprised at all, dude. People nowadays, you ever watch My 600 Pound Life, dude? They always got boyfriends. They always got girlfriends, dude. And it's not an anomaly. Oftentimes, um, it's not hard to find a relationship if you have no if you have no uh, standards. Like for instance, I'll give you a really good example. If you look at somebody like Amberlynn Reed or Foodie Beauty, I'm not saying that the people that she dated were of low caliber, but it's obvious that for these particular people, they don't really have the same set of standards that a lot of people might have, if that makes any sense. Like for me or you, we might have these default things of this person has to have a job or this person must do this or this person must do that. For a lot of people, they just don't have those things. Like they might have standards like must wash might, <laughs> might be one of their standards, which is fine, by the way. You should have that standard. But the point I'm making is like when you see Amber Lynn dating, it's very, very different from person to person to person. There's no rhyme or reason to it and very low quality mates as well. And then when it comes to as well, for somebody like Foodie Beauty, you see it as well. Like these people are the bottom of the barrel. They're abusing these people. They're just using you perpetually. And these people know it. Like they know it. But a lot of people think, well, at least I'm in a relationship. Well, at least I have somebody. Well, at least this person is with me. That's very sad. You should not be putting up with literal abuse or bad behavior because you want a boyfriend, because you want a girlfriend. That's terrible. That is gross. Do not do that. You're literally making your life harder for no other reason than just having a boyfriend. How the world sees you. It's not cool. Nobody gives a fuck that you have a boyfriend. Nobody gives a fuck that you have a girlfriend. It's irrelevant for like 99% of people. Mostly everybody's doing their own thing. So if you're over here and you think that because you have a boyfriend, because you have a girlfriend, that somehow means like you're elevated in the social hierarchy, you're not. Nobody gives a fuck, okay? Literally nobody, okay? Nobody wants, nobody, nobody cares about your relationship. <laughs> but for real, let's talk about plus size dating because it's rough out there in the streets, especially if you're a big girl. I dated a lot in college and learned a lot about the dating scene. Get on FaceTime before you go on a date. This just will help relieve you worried about like, are they going to think I'm fat? Do they know what I look like? Like, I don't have an iPhone and sometimes there could be some conflict there when that person like hits you up and they get a green message. I've literally had women before completely like just stop talking to me because the green message went through and uh it's very it's crazy bro it's really crazy because here's the thing you it's fine that you have an iphone i don't care if you like iphones you like iphones i personally do not like iphones i don't think i would ever buy an apple product not because i think apple products are bad i just prefer android okay but the amount of times that i hit up a girl and they go oh you have an android and you go oh yeah, yeah i have an android and they go why and you're like I, I just prefer it. I like the OS. I, I don't know. It's like better for me. Yeah, it's more flexible. And they go, uh, that means we can't FaceTime or whatever. It's like there's workarounds. You know, there's like apps that like you can FaceTime on. You could video chat on stuff like that. It's just not ones that are in, built into the phone that you have. And also people think that you're poor. Like I've seen this. Bro, the amount of times I remember I talked to this girl. She was like, if you have an Android, she objectively said this. She was like, if you have an Android, you're just poor. And I was like, bro, how much is your phone? And she was like, I paid most of the time when I talk to these girls, bro, they're always on these contracts, which is fine. You can have contracts, but some of these people have been on contracts for like their entire fucking life. I remember I was talking to this one person. This dude had been on the same contract for like nine years. Okay. They just kept upgrading him. And I remember I did the math with him and he was, he paid like five times more over the lifespan for all the phones than he did for just buying the phone outright. It's like, I don't know what it is. I guess like you're seeing the upfront cost of the phone and you're going, oh, that's too much money, which it is. Phones nowadays are ridiculously expensive for almost no reason. Like, what are you getting included? Like nine extra cameras on that shit. They all record in like 8K when the bat, when like the storage capacity can't even hold like maybe two of those videos. It's crazy. But I went through and I went through this with this guy and I told him, I was like, bro, you pay like literally way more than, than like if you just bought the phones outright. And he just, he was like, nah, but it's okay. Like, this is just what I want to do. I don't know, whatever, bro. But I remember talking to this girl. And I was like, how much is your phone? She was like, well, I pay $120 a month. And I was like, oh my God, like, I, my phone bill is $30, okay? Now granted, I did have to pay $1,500 for the phone, but like, I don't buy phones very often. But the point I'm making is like, how much is the iPhone? Like 1,000, 1,000, 200,000, 500, whatever. Uh, same price, same price. Yeah, same price. It's not like it's cheaper or whatever the fuck. Like the, the claim of like, you have a, a less superior phone. I don't know why some people have so many superiority complex when it comes to iPhones and stuff like that. I'm, I, I, don't, I don't have an iPhone, judge me. 
Please, judge me. Judge me harder. Judge me real hard. Do it for me. All over my face. Do it on my face. Right here. Judge me on my face. Lubricate me. But it's just really dumb. I've literally had women before literally say, uh, I can't fuck with a dude that has an, an android. I don't need, uh, why is that relevant? I don't know. Like, what's going to happen? Like, are you going to show up at your fucking work function? And somebody's going to be like, hey, show me some pictures of you and you guys, right? And I pull up my phone. And they go, ooh, ugh, oh, an android. Mm, get away. Ugh, gross. <laughs> Like, you think that's what's gonna happen? Nobody cares, bro. This just will help relieve you worried about, like, are they gonna think I'm fat? Do they know what I look like? Like, even if they've seen photos of me on the dating app, like, do they really know how big I am? Such a, it's such a big issue for these people, man. I see this, I see this one a lot. It also just saves you so much time. Yeah, I've been catfished too, a lot, a, a bunch of times. But then I haven't really been on the dating apps in like three years, three or four years at this point. So I don't know if it's different. There was a lot of bots when I was on the dating apps. I didn't even know that there were bots at the time too. And I was just handing out my number to these bots, dude. Crazy. I still get spam calls to this day. Because I would FaceTime with guys and they would be so freaking weird, like just weird energy. Whatever it was on FaceTime, I now didn't waste hours out of my life getting ready. What kind of energy were you getting? Sometimes people are not as organic on the phone. Man, I feel like, look, girls are better usually on the phone calls. Girls are usually better on FaceTime calls than guys. Guys are like really awkward a lot of times when it comes to calls, unless you know them. Even being on the regular phone, with your guy friend, right? Like you talking to guys, like they're taking shits, like they're in the fucking, t you know what I'm talking about? They're taking shits, they're in the fucking, the, the, the kitchen, looking through food and shit, they're not saying anything for two minutes straight. Sometimes they'll just randomly start talking. It's a little bit awkward. So like, I don't know, like it might be a good test here to dismiss guys if you FaceTime them and they're weird, maybe, but I don't think that's like a really good indicator of what they're gonna act like in public. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, man. Let me know down below what you think. And going on a date first dates are so superficial like you really are just worried about what each other looks like because you want to have that initial attraction it's not so much about what they look like i mean that's very important definitely like you should be looking to see if they know how to dress to see if they present themselves well that's fine but also i think the first date is really about whether or not you guys have that like chemistry because if you meet somebody and it's dry or like you're struggling to have interactions with that person yeah that's really the more important thing like if you if you meet somebody even if they don't look that good and you vibe like you guys have that connection instantly then yeah probably most of the time like people are going to take that forward because you, you're fun together you have you can communicate well that's more important to me than most of the time when it comes to looks because if i can't like talk to you or if i can't have the ability to actually have conversations or discuss things that i feel like are really important or whatever even if it was just some bullshit that's really uh important that's really important for me personally i don't know about for you guys but i can't be with a girl that doesn't know things and i know a lot of guys that, that tell me like yeah dog i want my girl to not even know what words are like that's fine if that's what you want but for me i can't do that it's like infinitely important for me to have a woman that can talk that has the ability to be good in social situations that i can discuss things with and uh is okay with I don't know, like having banter, you know, like stuff like that. Really important. That's so normal. What I would do to help like take my mind off of the pressure of like what I was looking like, I would do affirmations about things that have nothing to do with looks. So I'd think about like as a partner, like what do I bring to the table that is nothing about what I look like? I don't know about you big girls, but I sweat so much. Pick your outfit out the day before. It's the last thing you want to be doing is running around dripping sweat. Yeah, this is this is also something I feel like guys don't have to worry about. Picking the outfit out the day before. Dude, I I'm I, it's so crazy. I remember one time I was talking to this girl and she was like, "Oh, we need to go to the aquarium." And I was like, "Okay." And she was like, "But we need to get aquarium fits." And I was like, "Why? What is it? What the fuck is an aquarium fit?" And she was like, "Oh, it's like, you know, we got to get like blue shirts." And I got to get like a blue headband and I got to make sure that my, my, my shoes fit with the jeans that I got to wear and this and this. So we got to go shopping. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like we're, it's, we're in the aquarium for like 20 minutes, like, I don't know, like an hour, two hours at most. What do you, you think the fish are going to judge us because we walked in with brown shirts? Like, what are you talking about? So fucking weird sometimes. Like women, a lot of women have a very weird way of not all women, but a lot of women have this like weird way of trying to like. 3d chest stuff and most dudes are like i've been wearing the same clothes for 10 years you know like i met going over to guy's house and just seeing clothes on the floor and then just them pick up the clothes and just put it on i remember literally walking like don't get me wrong i do that too every once in a while right this shirt i've been wearing for two days but i know a guy one time i walked into his car 
and this dude, I, I I got into his a car, got into his car. There was a there was a a a, a t shirt on the on the seat, and I picked it up, and I was like, "What's this?" And he was like, "Oh, just toss it back there." I tossed it, and I was like, "Well, why do you have just a t shirt there?" He was like, "Yeah, I just rubbed my nuts on that shit after the workout I just did." That's just casual. That's just real casual for dudes, right? And obviously, after I did that, I smell my hands just to get the nuts sweat off my no. But you know what I'm talking about? Like I, I see a lot of guys doing that. The 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 the, the standards are very low. <laughs> The standards are very low for guys, dude. Guys will literally show up with the bottom barrel fit, but women are going to the like the fucking nines, dude, and purposefully too. And I think it's probably like a really good idea to date women if you're a guy like that, because women will fundamentally change the way you dress. <coughs> They'll make you gayer, <coughs> which is good by the way, because a lot of guys dress like shit. So if you date a woman, she can help you with finding clothes, and she can help you fit those clothes. So it's a win-win, right? Trying outfits on. And wear a color that doesn't show sweat so that way if you do sweat on the date you're not like worried about pitting and stuff people sweat on dates but obviously when you're fatter it's going to be a bigger problem since you have more you have more to sweat out i've said it before and i'll say it again just like you have a type of what you want somebody to look like you are somebody's type oh that's not what i thought they were gonna say but i hate this like this projection of I have a type, therefore they must also like this thing, which is cringe, is not how that works. Um, I agree that you are somebody's type, but it's such a weird way of looking at it because you're basically just running the numbers and playing the lottery at that point. Because even if somebody, even if somebody does like you, what are the chances of that person, like, is somebody you like, right? You get what I'm talking about? If you are literally making yourself very unattractive, and that's what that's what being fat is. If you're if you're fat or you're obese, the chances of you finding a candidate are going to be severely reduced compared to what it could have been if you weren't fat. Most people are not attracted to fat people. So if you're going through that and you're saying, oh, somebody's got to like me. Do you really want to be that you want to be that one somebody's like you? What are you talking about? You should have multiple somebody's that want to be with you and you get to choose because Let's say hypothetically that th there is somebody out there that does like you and you do find them, which is like a one in one, what, seven, eight billion people, whatever. Let's just say there's like a hundred of them, which is a hundred out of like a bill, a hundred out of a billion is crazy. A hundred out of eight billion is insane. But let's say you meet one of those people. Do you like that person? What if they have fungus on their feet? What if they're like beating off in the bathroom and they're like busting in vents? You know what I'm talking about? Like what if, what if this person's just weird? You don't like that person, but they like you. Did you not think about that? Is it not about what you want to? Like, you're just going to accept a guy that likes you because you're fat and you're so undesirable that it's like, oh, I might as well just go for this guy? No, obviously fucking not. <laughs> That's terrible. So, like, yes, you should be making yourself as desirable as humanly possible so that we can open up, open up. And it's not superficial, by the way, to have a guy or somebody or a guy or a girl that goes... I like guys or I like women that are shaped in this particular way and obesity is not one of them. That's not superficial. That's not. I'm sick of people saying that. It's not. It's okay. It's perfectly fine, dude. The way you look, somebody is going to love and cherish. Terrible. Exactly terrible. how you look right now. Terrible, 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 terrible advice. Oh, it's just gross. It's just literally the worst. Just like basically what I'm hearing from that is like, well, somebody's going to like you regardless, so don't even change. Don't agree to doing an activity for a first date that you like don't feel comfortable doing. I love a good simple dinner date because I can talk to anybody. Mm, I think probably the best date. A lot of people gave me shit on this before because people have said like, oh, David, that's like, oh, uh, I'm, I'm a grown woman or I'm a grown man. Like, I'm not going to take a woman. I think personally, if you're going on a first date, the, fir the entire objective of a first date is to get to know somebody and understand who they are as a person. So if that is the intention, just a coffee date, just like, hey, you want to go and get coffee? You want to go to a coffee shop and just get something, you know, like a coffee or something. And then we can walk in the park or something like that. Very casual, very simple. There's nothing really going on. There's no stress involved. There's not like a, you feel like you owe something to that person. There's nothing that you just talking, you're walking, you're just communicating. That's all there is. And the second, third date, whatever you want to do. If it works past that first date, if you're going on the first date and you're taking somebody out, or you're going to dinner or you're going to the movies or you're doing whatever the fuck. A lot of people are going to feel entitled to something afterwards. A lot of people will. And mostly dudes because they feel like, I just dropped $80 on this meal. Like, I think you deserve to swabble my shit. I've seen that countless times, right? I think that eliminates it completely. Because, like, what are you spending? $3 on a cup of coffee, maybe 4 depending on if she wants boba. Then 
you get you buy her her boba what are you gonna think like oh man i spent nine dollars on this cop nine dollars is kind of crazy i'm not gonna lie but you know what i'm saying it's 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 way more laxed and i feel like that's probably the objective is like how do you even know you want to spend more time this person instead of dropping 80 90 dollars on the on the first check or whatever the fuck i don't even know you and maybe for you 80 90 100 dollars is like nothing but for me it's obviously not i <laughs> i can't be doing that but you know what i'm saying like it's probably just better to meet somebody and communicate and see if they're okay of a person and then you can move on from there Maybe you feel more comfortable like going to do an activity. Don't say yes if they plan something that you don't want to do. Like skydiving. Like, hey, do you want to go on a skydiving session? Hey, I'm going to like, I'm going to go to India for like four days. You want to come with me? Yeah, great first date. Like, tell them what you want to do. And one last thing. Trust your gut. That's a bad way. That is a terrible, ter no pun intended. Trust your guts. Everybody, when you're dating, wants to give you so much advice. Listen to your gut because... Everybody's gonna have an opinion, but your opinion matters the most. Sometimes, it just depends. Sometimes your opinion could be skewed. Sometimes your, if you are attracted, say hypothetically you're attracted to this guy and he's amazing, he's beautiful, whatever, and then your best friend goes, ooh, yeah, but Sarah, that guy, uh, he sent me a dick pic like four days ago and he was literally telling me that you look like Hogwarts. And uh, you're going to trust your opinion on that? No, obviously you're going to take, it's okay to look at other people, what they have to say. It's all right. Just like take it into account. But sometimes it might be vind vindictive. I met many women that have tried to like sabotage relationships because they didn't have a relationship. So it's a give and take. Like understand, hopefully the person that you're talking to is genuine. Do you think it is harder out there for the curvy women to date than it is than women? Obviously, that's a factual statement. Dan, that ring is big as fuck, bro. Good for her. Jesus, look at the size of that rock. I think it's massive. I would agree with that because I just think this yeah, nobody could not agree with that. I, they just be, they just really ask like the most objective questions. Like, do you think that? Do you think that people are starving? Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, it might be. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do think that actually. I do think there probably are some people probably somewhere on the planet that are starving. Yeah. Societal element of it. It's the rom com thing. Like, there's not a lot of curvy leads in a rom com. Right. I like the way he talks. It's the rom-com thing, you know? It's the, the, the curvy women thing. Like, who, who the Christopher Walken's ass? It's the friend. So maybe you Why think- Why so much emphasis on every every end of the statement? It's so much like, oomph at the end of everything. Hey, did you find your keys? Yeah, I found my keys. And uh, uh, by the way, before we go, I did make us some crepes. And they're in the kitchen right now. Think of yourself in the friend role. I'm into curvy women. That's my type, so- I hate it when people do this shit too. Because it's like your virtue signaling when I hear somebody say this, like, oh, but I love, like, I, I know that curvy women, I know people in general that are fat have a hard time getting dates because they're fat. But I, you know, me, per I do love, I love curvy women. So like, you know, I'm not going to fit that role. You know, obviously me, it, I'm different. Obviously I'm super different. So like, I'm not, you know, I, I would date curvy women. So don't, don't shit on me for that. Dude, come on. I know as a guy who dates curvy women. It's the smell. Smell. There's some kind of texture sometimes. Grease. Uh, chicken bones, 100%, yeah. Sometimes you get weird comments. What is that in your teeth? Did you wash yourself today? Why do you smell like that? <laughs> I'm like your bros. Not even, like a lot of times women. You why, know? Are you, why are you screaming? Why are you screaming, dude? What is this like? Sometimes women. Why? Why is it so hard? Oh, I guess that like, you know, I guess that's what your type is. No, and I it's can't like see you're, you're that wearing one. your type and it, that feels a little weird to have to put out there or not have to, but like you shouldn't have to. Right. And so I think that's something that curvy women what, what women are what women in your life do you know that are saying that? Like so you date a fat girl and your mom's like, "Oh, so you're dating a fat woman." Ew. Ooh, so that's your type now, huh? Like who who are these women, dude? in your life that are doing that. Okay. I have to deal with it. Maybe someone who's more like mainstream, I guess. It's, is it mainstream to only date? <laughs> what? I've never heard somebody say that before in my life. Like, oh yeah, you're dating, you're dating fat girls. Oh wow, you're so like meta. Oh my God, you're so like underground. You're dating fat girls? Wow. You're like Nirvana in the early nineties. Wow. I can't believe how like different you are, new age. Wow, you must have like a crystal necklace for dating fat girls, huh? What are you talking? Is mainstream not to date fat girls, bro? What are you talking about? It's such a weird way of saying that. <laughs> I don't even know the right wording and that's where yeah. it gets uncomfortable. Talk about what it is like fucking being intimate as a fat babe. Feeling confident while doing it.
So you decided to meet up with someone. Jesus. You're feeling really nervous about how you look, and you're getting really self conscious about how you're gonna feel like when you take all your clothes off. You need to remember that that person. Like, but you do this a lot, right? Like, if you're having sex with somebody, like consistently. You're going to have to eventually take off all your clothes unless you're me. I'm not taking off my socks. You're not going to tell me to take off my socks unless we're sleeping, of course. But I keep my socks on just in case I need to put my shoes on. And obviously, I'm not going to have sex with my shoes on unless that's what you're into. And you want me to wear like that fucking Clint Eastwood outfit. I could probably do that 100%. If you wanted me to dress up as like a cowboy during sex, I've already been thinking about it, honestly. Like, we could probably do that shit. I have the outfit. I do have the outfit. I got the boots. I mean, if you wanted to do it, I got it. Like, what would you dress up as? It doesn't... I don't even care about you. It's not even about you at that point. It's about me. I'm trying to embody... We don't even have to have sex, honestly. I just need a reason to dress up like Clint Eastwood. I don't even need you to be there. I'm gay. I'm just gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. Plain and simple. Homosexuality in my mouth. I love it. I love it. Pride month. Hashtag 30 day free trial. I don't know. But um, if you want to dress up as somebody or whatever, dude, and uh, or you're just like feeling uncomfortable while you're having sex with somebody, dude, um, this is why you don't just have sex with people in general. Like you should just be you should be trying to have sex with one person convincingly. I know a lot of people have sex with a lot of different people a lot. And that's okay if you want to do that. Like if you want to have a lot of one night stands, that's okay. But I personally find way more enjoyment having sex with one person over a large period of time because I'm not a big fan of like um, multiple vaginas like I, I never really cared about it just decided to sleep with you just like you decided to sleep with them you know what they look like you know what their body looks like and they know what your body looks like as well trust me when I say I know it can be super intimidating especially if your tummy's a bit big and that's what you're most insecure about that person doesn't really care because mm, it just <laughs> It just depends on the person you're having sex with. I mean, if you're just meeting some random person, they might find it a little bit concerning that your gut is a little bit big, but they might just be having sex with you because it's convenient and they probably like the cons don't outweigh the pros. So they're just like, fuck it. Like it doesn't like, yeah, she's gutted up, but like her vagina is okay. That's probably like most people. But if you're having sex with like your boyfriend, girlfriend or whatever, it might be like better to be more attractive to them, right? Um, I know that if you're in a relationship with somebody, I know that when I'm when I'm in a relationship and they go, hey, I really like it when you wear this or I really like it when you do this. And then you go, oh, really? OK, I could do more of that. I can't. I could do that more if you do that. It's like having sex. Like when you have sex, not everybody's the same. I mean, maybe they're the same for like dudes. Like there's not really many techniques unless you're dating a guy that like likes anal play or stuff like that, which is not normative. But. It's important to ask questions. It's important to probe. It's important to understand what that person likes because sometimes people have an insecurity about them where they don't want to tell you the truth because they think that if they do tell you the truth, it might hurt your feelings, which happens a lot. But if you're in a relationship, it's super appropriate to go, what do you like? And if that person goes, I like skinnier girls, but I love you. And I didn't want to tell you that because I felt like if I did tell you that you might get offended. And then you go, oh, okay. I'm glad to know that information. You can either take that one of two ways, break up with him. Because he doesn't like you exactly the way you are. Or you can maybe lose weight. I don't know. Like there, there are, there, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you're probably better to lose weight anyway. Um, but this also works in general. Like I know a lot of women that go, I've never orgasmed with my boyfriend. And I always go, why? Uh, I, and they always go like, he just can't do it well. And I go, tell him. Tell him what to do. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, women have different anatomies when it comes to how how they work, right? Some women need a little bit more of this. Some people need, some women need a little bit more of that. For dudes, it's like, oh yeah, wow. You want to have sex? I already came. I, it's already done for me. It's already, it's over. Like, but for women, it's like, touch my toes. Caress my head. Tell me that I'm a gecko. I, there's a lot of stuff you got to do. And... You need to tell the guy because he's not going to know. He's not mind reading you. So it, it's very, very, very important to have communication and talk about stuff before and during um, whatever you're doing. And this comes from like sex and because she's talking about sex here and, and um, in relationships as well. Like communicate a lot. They just want to have a good time and enjoy their company with you. We talk about looks so much, but true confidence and true feeling yourself is going to exude that beautiful energy. And that's what the person is going to remember more than how big your tummy is. It just, if you're just having sex with that person, I think most people don't really care about your energy or your personality. Because if the intention of... If the intention is just to have sex, I don't even understand why somebody would even focus on that. That's such a weird thing to even say. Like, oh yeah, just remember when you're having sex, exude a lot of like personality while you do it. 
I mean, I guess, but like, that's really not the reason why they're there. You can do that, but it's probably not the, like the main drive. Trust me when I tell you, when a man is down there doing his thing, uh, licking it up, then he's not going to be looking at your tummy thinking, oh my God, how big is her tummy? Yeah, he's not going to be looking up at it because it's probably on the back of his neck. He can't look up at it. Like he's probably blind down there. He's probably like inducing scoliosis upon his back because of the way you dropped it on the back of his neck. Oh, no, he is down there to pleasure you because that's the whole point of the situation. True, but you probably want to make it a little bit. Hmm. Somebody answer this question for me, okay? When you look, when you're doing that and you look up, is it better or is it worse? I personally like when I do that and I look up to see the person's pleasure or whatever. But if I do that and I look up and it's black because I have a big giant stomach in front of me and it's like also like you dropped it on the back of my neck. So like I was down there and then just went, you know, like that because my whole fucking... It's, it's uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Most men with money don't want an obese woman. That's they just don't. It is what it is. Most men in general don't want an obese woman. If you have a choice, if you have a choice, let me, let me preference that. Most people in general do not want an obese person to be with if they have a choice. If they don't have a choice, they'll take whatever they can get. But you don't want to be the take whatever I can get person. You want to be, I want to be like top dog. I want to be the person that they picked. You don't want to be like a... I couldn't get anything therefore like this is all i can get so if i was a woman i was struggling with struggling with my weight and i'm like dang it would really be nice be nice to have access to a certain type of man mm -hmm. i need to get my ass in the gym mm -hmm. sure i would say most men would want an obese woman period you said most men i think don't? Most, most men period wouldn't want an obese woman. wouldn't want to oh, right i i, I no, get she can that. be thick you know what i'm saying she can be voluptuous all that good stuff but <laughs> Right, but my you know. point is, it we should be able to work at or become the person that we want. I, I say this lightly to attract because here's the thing, and this is why I stopped leading with my education and my career and my money because I realized that the men who become serious with me, they don't, don't care give about a damn about that. My yeah, well, I mean, why the fuck would he care if you had money if he was already <laughs> people? This is like the projection strategy where they go, oh. Obviously, I'm looking for a man that's highly educated. I'm looking for a man that makes a lot of money. I'm looking for a man that has his priorities in check, right? So obviously, he has to be looking for all those things too. Most of the time, probably not. Like, do people have different priorities on how they date? If a guy is already making $100,000, $300,000 a year and he's like a high earner man, I don't think most of those dudes are probably like going to really care for the most part if you're making a lot of money as well. But people do tend to date people across from them. Like, it's... You do see, there are examples of guys at the top echelon when it comes to like the social hierarchy. Like for instance, Leonardo DiCaprio, these guys that are very high earners, guys that are very attractive, say whatever you want, Leonardo DiCaprio is very attractive. Dating women that are significantly lower than them on the uh, social hierarchy, even like age-wise too, what is his most recent girlfriend, like 24 or something like that, like half his age. Like it's fine to do that. Like I'm not, I, I'm not opposed to it. If you want to do that, it's fine. But most people... If you're working in a job or work are, are dating the people that are also working in that job, most people are dating where they are. So like if you're in school, you're probably dating somebody that's also in that same school. If you're at a job, you're probably dating. If you're at church, probably dating that guy, whatever the fuck. That's most people. Um, most people do not want to have relations with people that are obese because it's an indication of poor health for the most part. I don't know why anybody would want to be in a relationship with somebody that's already predisposed to poor health. It's just not incentivized for a lot of people. So I get that. Uh, but like, again, this is probably like, if you're looking for a guy, I always say this dude, but like, if you're looking for a guy, if you're a woman or you're a gay man or whoever, and you're looking for a man, and this goes for women too. If you're looking for a person that's a high earner, somebody that's making a lot of money, somebody that's like really, really, really pushing themselves in the career, that's fine. But like, you have to understand this guy has no time. This guy is literally working all the time. I know there's like a stereotypical, oh no, if he's like made it to this extent, he's gonna have a lot of free time because he's making his money work for him. That's bullshit for like 99% of these guys. By the way, these dudes that are making that money are like 3% of the population in the world, I believe. So if you're making that kind of money, this guy is working non-stop he's having no time for you and when he does have time for you it's very limited so you have to understand you're, you're th there's a give and take to a lot of that stuff it's fine if you want to date that person okay i know a lot of women i've talked to a lot of women that say i want a traditional guy i want a guy that's going to be taking care of me i want a guy that's going to like 
uh, let me stay at home, raise children, be the housemaker, do all that stuff. That's fine. If you want to do that, that's okay. I'm not opposed to it. I actually don't care. Like if you want to be a woman, you want to be a housewoman. That's fine. I don't care. I don't care. As long as you do you have a problem with men being a house man. I don't care about that either. If that's what, if you have a, if that's what you want, that's what you want. But there's always a give and take to that stuff. Time is going to be taxed. If this guy is making income and he's the only one making income, do you think he's going to be home all the time? Probably not. And if he is home all the time because he has a work from home job, again, he's probably not doing shit with you. He's probably spending like nine hours on the computer working, right? So like, yeah, I get it. Like, it's fine. But like usually in these scenarios and stuff like that, I'm not saying you can't do it, but there's going to be sacrifices. Usually, usually. And most people nowadays are not even really even into that. Like most women I meet, most women I meet nowadays that are in their 30s, um, that are in their 20s, really want dudes that are working, dudes that have jobs, dudes that are stable, but they also want to work too. They also like that dual income household, right? They want to have the, uh, the, 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 the work and they want to have the play. And that's, that's fine too. That's most people nowadays. I see a lot of like people are, like, it's okay. I mean, I meet some women now, some women nowadays that do want to be housewives and stuff like that. That's okay. All I'm saying is that there's always going to be sacrifices and it may not be exactly what you want. If you meet a guy that's making a hundred, 200, 300 K a year, and this guy's working 18 hours a day. Like, you know? Vacation on my nope. money. At all. Like, if anything, they probably ask me what's my credit score. But mm -hmm. they're not in my bank account. It's still, because they have their own money. It's well, intangibles. That's what we, right. that's what we look Y'all for. Y'all looking for the intangibles. Mm -hmm. how, how am I going to be to you as a wife? Mm -hmm. um, am I going to make a great example as a mother? Yep. Now, this is, like, very, very centered towards a particular man. Like, most dudes are not meta-braining this shit. <laughs> Most dudes are not thinking about how you're going to be perceived as a mother. Most dudes are not thinking about how you're going to be perceived as a woman, like a, a, a homo. Like that's most dudes are not. Okay. This is a very, very, very particular man that they're talking about. Your future exactly. children. Exactly. Because my degree and my career has nothing to do with those two things. If you're looking for that, if you're looking for that, if that's what you're looking for, that's fine. But um, if you're dating a dude, it might be important for him that you have a college degree. Maybe not so much for like the other end. I met a lot more women that are like super, super, super serious about. I met women literally that have told me if he doesn't have a master's, I can't date him. And these women don't even have masters themselves. Like they only have like a high school degree, which is crazy. But I'm, I've met very few men that have that restriction. But then again, I'm not hanging out with like very, very um, like high earner type guys and things like that. Like I met, I, I don't know a few guys that make like a hundred K, but um, not like really, I don't know them. But most dudes I've met don't really care about that. Most dudes I know are like, oh, as long as she's nice and she's fun to be around and she doesn't like treat me like garbage. Like it's mostly like that. Um, I met a lot more women that are like serious about that shit though. Like he has to have a lot of money or he has to be very social. He has to have like big connects and things like that. Like that's okay if that's what you want. But again, give and take. I came into the city for a workout and the man that I faced him last night was texting me and asked if I would meet him for coffee. So that is where I'm headed right now. I know this is New York City, bro. Look at the scaffolding, bro. This is, man, dude, they got to do something about this. Like, I know that we, I live in like a very big metropolitan area. I don't know. Sometimes, bro, you can literally be going downtown and these scaffoldings will be like a permanent residence on the side of these buildings, dude. They'll just be chilling there for like years at a time, bro. I don't know. I don't know if the city just forgot about it or they look at it as like an ornament now, but it's, it's terrible, dude. It looks absolutely gross. It is only like a 10 minute walk from where I'm going to be. So very convenient. I have very low hopes going into this. So you just got, you just got done with a workout and now you about to meet up with a dude. I hope it wasn't a serious workout, bro. Because there's a couple red flags. Couple red flags. Yep. But He's black. He's not five foot 10. He's under five foot 10. No, let me stop. I'm viewing this as me putting myself back out there and it's just a coffee day. oh my god you guys you cannot make this shit up i hope you can hear me it's very loud where i am right now in new york literally as i'm walking to go meet this man i stopped at starbucks because a bitch is hungry and i need to eat and i need to put you met this dude you're going to a coffee date and before you get to the coffee date you go get coffee you go to a coffee shop it's a makeup on I was gonna do that at Starbucks, but there's no seats inside, so now I'm gonna do it standing on the side of the road. Anyway, as I'm walking to Starbucks, as I'm crossing the street, I basically almost collided with a man on a bicycle. And I just kept walking because that's what you do in New York. If you almost run into a bike, you just 
keep moving and act like nothing happened. So, but then I like saw the guy in the bike continue to stare at me and like, I think he said something to me, but I had my headphones and so didn't hear him. But he saw me walk into the Starbucks. Y'all tell me why. It's him. As I was leaving Starbucks, this man from the bike was waiting outside for me to ask for my number. But he looked kind of cute, though. Okay, bro. You're giving women a bad name off this shit, bro. Come on, dude. Oh, I hate I hate this shit so heavily, bro. I hate it so heavily when this shit happens, man. Because it's like, okay, in any scenario, if a dude almost hits you on a bicycle and then he follows you going into a coffee shop and waits presumably for more than five to ten minutes outside the coffee shop for specifically you to ask for your phone number that's um what are you talking about bro you're fucking weird leave me alone that's crazy okay and then you preference it with but he was cute stop stop doing that because you what you're doing is like you're encouraging men to do that shit stop doing that that's not good don't do that shit no that's absolutely terrible i hear this a lot bro i remember dude i remember this one girl telling me she was like oh if a guy r worded me if he was hot it would be okay and I was just like thinking at this shit. I was like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, what are you saying right now? She was like, if he looked like Johnny Depp from the 90s, like, I wouldn't have a problem with it. And I was like, what are you talking? Why would you ever? Why would you ever? What, do, what is wrong with you? Giving women a bad name. No, it's not a good idea regardless, okay? No, and don't ever, don't ever say that. To ask for my number. But he looked kind of cute though. So I gave it to him. Crazy. Oh my God, bro. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. You gave him a number? And if that's not the biggest sign that I'm on my hot girl shit. I'm, oh! Hot girl shit? What are you talking about? You gave a dude that waited for that that followed you into a Starbucks, waited for you for many minutes outside the Starbucks. And asked you for your phone number because he was cute. Not a creep. Not weird. Not a weirdo. No. Because he was cute. And you think this is a dub for you. I. I. Yeah. Yeah. Totally a dub. I mean, what, tell me how it goes. Tell me how Tell me how this whole relationship goes. I would love to know. I would love. Oh, man. This guy could be literally like the best guy ever, obviously. But still, I would love to know an update on this. So I gave it to him. And if that's not the biggest sign that I'm on my hot girl shit, dating Oh, I forgot. She was going on another date. Yeah. <laughs> the ambient sounds. Okay. You're getting updates in real time here. I just love Dude, if I'm dating a girl, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Okay, if we started dating, and I was, and I was like, oh, some, you know, let me see your social media. And then I looked at your social media, and I saw that you had posted multiple TikToks about how we were dating. Oh man, I would be really upset, dude. I would be really upset if I asked you out on a date, and then I saw a video of you being approached by a weirdo bike rider that that stalked you into a fucking a Starbucks, and you gave him the number ten minutes before our date. That you went into a coffee shop, by the way. Before we even went to the coffee shop, which is crazy, you got a coffee shop before the coffee shop, and then you met up with me, and then in between the date, which is like, I'm guessing she went off to the second to like go pee or something like that and recorded this, I would be really mind fucked, dude. I would be looking at this girl like, bro, what the fuck is this shit? You, you, you what, why would you do any of this in the same day, in the same like three hours? You just did, I would be like, bro, get, get, I, I can't talk to you, bro. You, this is red flags. Okay. You're getting updates in But real you know what? Hot girl error. Hashtag ha hot girl error. Time here. I just left the date. Well, it was like probably about like 20 minutes ago. Had some errands to run. Now I'm on the subway heading home. It was fun. It was good. He was very nice. Immediate ache because his outfit was horrible. His outfit was horrible. His outfit was horrible, guys. It was bad. It was disgusting. I don't think it really even matters since she's has no morals. She's in her hot girl era. She's going to do whatever the fuck it takes, bro. Whatever, bro. Honestly, I don't care, man. Whatever, dude. This whole video was like, that last girl was insane. I don't know what to tell you other than that. That shit was literally crazy. Uh, whatever. You're a beautiful person. If you enjoyed today's video, I appreciate it. If you could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all that stuff, I'd appreciate tremendously. If... 
um you could do any stuff for me i'd appreciate you because it helps me grow in the algorithm so if you could do that stuff for me i would appreciate you tremendously you smell very good today by the way i really enjoy the way that your texture of your skin is it's really nice it's really coarse it's really smooth it has a lot of like goodness to it and it exuberates a lot of beauty and i love that um if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now leave it down below by typing in plate because i'm about to serve you up a lot of compliments right now you are the embodiment of just Oh my God, if that was a way, if that was like a compliment. Cause you know, sometimes we'll go, oh my God. But you're like, oh my God, because of how beautiful you are. I cannot believe that we don't have a holiday celebrating the absolute magnificence of your embodiment of beauty. There needs to be a day, no, a week dedicated to just you. You know, sometimes people celebrate birthday, like you have a birthday, but you have a birthday month, right? Which doesn't even make sense. Birthday month. We should have a entire holiday just for your existence, a week, guaranteed a week. And at the end of the week, we just all give you gifts because of how absolutely stunning you are of a person. And I think that's favorable for you. I really do because you're just too gorgeous not to have a holiday. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. I don't give a fuck. What does that have to do with anything? But anyway, um, we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my social medias, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, discords, all that stuff will be linked in the description of this channel and the description of this video. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.